my relationship with queer youth programs affects my peers in a lot of ways in that um, most of the people that I talk to, I just naturally educate them about trans issues because no one, a lot of people just don't know about trans issues the way ideally everyone should. And so I'm always educating. And so I feel like my relationships are broadened and people I think oftentimes come to me for that type of information. Well, the organization that I'm involved with right now, other than my private practice, is um, the Santa Cruz Transgender Therapist Team. And so we actually all get together to consult on um, how to work with queer youth and queer families and families of queer youth and how um, to really make a better space for them, a safer space for them. Can I do this over again? <laughs> I'll do this one again. So um, the organization that I'm involved in that um, other than my private practice is the Santa Cruz Transgender Therapist Team. And so um, we all get together on a periodic basis in order to consult and also to just to talk about how we can help work with queer youth and their families and help create a better and safer space really in Santa Cruz County for that. Well, the people that I work with called the um, Santa Cruz Transgender Therapist Team, we get together and we all have clients that are trans oriented and families that work with them. And I think my dream would be that Every therapist in all of Santa Cruz County um, really knows about trans issues and not that they're gender specialists, but that they at least have the ability to know how to be culturally competent with trans issues and at least know to refer out or how to work with them in a way that's just effective and safe for all trans people here in Santa Cruz. I first realized that I was gay identified when I was 17. However, most of my work nowadays seems to be working with and being an ally for the trans community. And that came about about almost 20 years ago at this point, where I've been working with trans youth and their families in order to create a safer space for them, really, and to just allow them to blossom and grow in a way that all of our society really should. My favorite movie is The Matrix, and um, uh, I just think it uh, has a psychological depth to it and a spirituality, which I'm impressed by. But, you know, it's, it's interesting that years later, you know, Lana Wachowski came out as trans herself. And, and um, I don't know if you saw it, but her, her interview on that she gave her acceptance speech for the award for HRC is one of the most inspiring speeches I've ever heard. My favorite color, I haven't answered this question since high school, is um, turquoise blue probably because I'm from New Mexico and so it, it allows me just, it just gives me joy whenever I wear it. Although I'm not wearing it today, this is a different color blue.